Today in Crypto London, Reuters, trading volumes on major cryptocurrency exchanges hit a daily record on Monday of over $68 billion, research showed, highlighting the trading frenzy that has accompanied Bitcoin's charge to an all-time high. Bitcoin hit a record high $34,800 on Sunday, building on a 2020 rally that saw it more than quadruple as bigger U.S. investors jumped into the market. It then fell sharply on Monday amid volatility in highly leveraged futures markets markets, before recovering losses. The second biggest cryptocurrency, Ethereum, which tends to trade in tandem with Bitcoin, also on Monday hit its highest level since January 2018, touching $1,170. Overall daily trading volumes in cryptocurrencies hit $68,3 billion. The data from UK research firm CryptoCompare showed on Tuesday, daily volumes had averaged $13,1 billion in 2020. The data showed, Bitcoin's record high came less than three weeks after it crossed $20,000 for the first time on December 16. Fueling Bitcoin's rally has been the perception it can act as a hedge against the risk of inflation as governments and central banks turn on the stimulus taps to counter the COVID-19 pandemic. Its potential for fast gains also attracted demand. Crypto trading volumes regularly spike during periods of extreme price swings highlighting the central role for speculative traders in digital currency trading. Grayscale drops XRP from large-cap crypto fund following Ripple SEC suit. The digital asset manager announced that it ditched XRP on December 31. No word on the fate of the Grayscale XRP trust. Coindesk acquires TradeBlock adding indexes and pricing to news, events offerings. Coindesk said its position to be the leading source of crypto news, information and data for the rapidly growing sector. Grayscale Investments is the latest major crypto player to drop its association with Ripple's token. Grayscale Investments, the world's largest cryptocurrency asset manager, announced Tuesday that it has liquidated its XRP holdings and used the remaining funds to buy up more Bitcoin. BTC, Bitcoin Cash, BCH, and Litecoin, LTC. The decision affects Grayscale's digital large cap fund, a market cap weighted asset that provides exposure to the largest group the currencies by market capitalization. The sale of XRP occurred on Monday, less than a week after Genesis Global Trading, the fund's authorized participant, announced it would soon temporarily suspend XRP trading likely in relation to the lawsuit filed by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission against Ripple. Genesis Global Trading plans to halt all XRP transactions on January 15. Prior to the sale on Monday, XRP accounted for roughly 1,46% of the digital large-cap fund. The fund's components are now 81, 63% BTC, 15, 86% Ether, EDH, 1,08% BCH and 1,43% LTC. Each share represented 0,0047489 BTC, 0,0028711 EDH, 0,0047537 BCH and 0,0016731 LTC. Grayscale also confirmed the fund's new composition in a series of Twitter posts on Tuesday. 3 slash dollar XRP was removed following DLC Fund's quarterly review, December 31, 2020. No other's assets qualified for inclusion. The below table highlights DLC Fund's weightings as of January 4, 2021. Dollar BTC dollar E dot T dot H. Dollar BCH dollar LTC pick dot Twitter dot com slash G3 zero KDA. The fund manager said XRP was removed following DLC funds quarterly review, December 31st, 2020. It explained that no other asset qualified for inclusion in the fund. Grayscale's assets under management recently eclipsed $20 billion for the first time 
highlighting broad institutional demand for Bitcoin and other digital assets. The asset manager is scooping up Bitcoin in greater quantities, with at least one metric showing Grayscale bought nearly three times more BTC than was mined in December. Although XRP was among several large-cap cryptocurrencies to rally in recent months, its outlook remains clouded by a wave of exchange delistings in the United States. Bitwise Asset Management became one of the first high-profile fund managers to unlock load its XRP holdings before Christmas. For its part, Ripple has vowed to fight the SEC's accusations that the company conducted an illegal securities offering of its XRP token. A statement released last week by Ripple said the firm will continue to operate and support its products outside the United States. Bitcoin BTC had a tremendous 2020 as the BTC price rallied by 311% in 2020. In the shadows of Bitcoin, Ether EDH, has also been seeing a fantastic year as Ether's price rallied by an even bigger 475%. While only 5 days into the new year, ETH is continuing this trend. Bitcoin breaking new all-time highs above $30,000 has sparked a massive rally fire that is now spilling over to altcoins. However, the question now is whether the bull run will be continuing vertically, as in the past few months, or whether a short-term correction should be expected. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.